Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. In this tutorial, we want to create a blinking view so that we can draw the user's attention to a specific position of the page. Well, I have already created three elements on the page, a card view, a text, and a button. I put a red circle on the card to indicate the notification. We also use text and buttons in a way that attracts the user's attention. Well, let's start with the notification circle. This view has created the red circle. We want to put it in a blinking view to let the user know something has happened on the card and to encourage the user to touch it. To do this, I create a custom component to use again later. I create a new file and use snippets to create a React Native component inside it. Well, I delete the text and add the constructor to it. We use the animated API to create this view and we make sure it's imported properly. I define the style for it and set the opacity inside it to a value that an animation controls. I set the default value of this animation to 0 in the constructor. Now in the component did mount section, we use the animated loop feature and inside we use a fade out and fade in animation to act like a blink for us. In the first part of the loop, we have to define a series of animations and in the second part, we can use its configs, which I will explain later. Well, I use a sequence that accepts an array of animations and waits for each item to finish and then executes the next item. I define the first item as a fade out animation using timing. Its first input can be value or value xy. We have defined the value of the animation as value, so we put it in this section. In the second input, I enter some configs. I set the two value to zero to gradually reduce the animation value from one to zero. And do so at a time set in the props. Finally, we use the use native driver configuration to make the animation work better on the device. Now I copy this item and use it as a second item, except that I set the two value to one to give us a fade in animation. When we use this component, component did mount is called first, and these two animations are executed in a loop in a row. Now in animated.view we use a props, so that the children we use in it can use this animation. For view, we define a style of props, so that the user can give it the desired style. Now we import the component we created in the page we want to use. Then we put the desired view in it as a child. Using the duration prop, we set the time interval between blinks in milliseconds. If I save, as you can see, the red circle starts blinking and notifies the user of a change in the page. Well, now we go to the text and put it in the blink component. This time I will consider the duration value more to see the difference with the notification circle. This loop works without any limits from the start. To specify how many times we want this loop to run, we can use iterations. I define its value from props so that it can be changed. For example, suppose we want the button to blink only three times. 
We can use the building component instead of the view because a style is also applied as props on it. As you can see by default, the button blinks without limit. If I set the props to my liking, as you can see the button stops after 3 flashes. We can use this component to draw the user's attention to any view on the page. I put the source code link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Now if you enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.